Hello everybody, this is Linda with Copperhead Collectibles. Today I'm giving you a video encouraged by Think Media and the 7 Day Challenge that I'm involved in. This is day 3 and session 5. I did a 2 hour session this morning and we have a 2 hour session this afternoon. So if you're you know, interested in learning about YouTube and how to create better, more powerful videos to get more viewers and more subscribers and just to, to, to make yourself feel like you're doing something correctly. So if you want all the tools and all the knowledge you need, check out Think Media on Facebook and or YouTube or Instagram or all the other platforms you can look up, look up people on. So today, this video we're going to be discussing is on some coin errors. I have uh, pulled some of my quarter errors out so you can see them. I have some Washington quarters and I have some state quarters. And I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to an actual double, uh, double die errors. Uh, doubling in general errors and uh, let's see what we can find okay let's check out this coin I have put on a Washington quarter it is a uh, P from Philadelphia mint mark as you can see on the screen and this would be considered a <clears throat> a rotated hub doubling which is a class one uh, of, of doubling coins and uh, as you can see it's pretty apparent <laughs> you can't really miss this error which I love because it's very very full forthcoming it's you know you cannot miss all of this doubling and this is a classic doubling here that you can definitely want to put aside it's not in the best condition but this is a pretty good coin for having this error on it and if you look at the the mint mark here it has also has a little bit of misalignment of the uh, the punch so this is a pretty good uh, error coin. I just wanted to show you that, that this is officially a doubling. And a double die, let me explain the double dying. A double die would be when the entire face of the coin is doubled. Like all of this would be and everything on the coin than just the one point. So this is not a doubling of the uh, double die because that would be coming from the mint itself. This one I would consider a machine doubling. Um, it's a different class, but it's a good one. Because you see it's not on the Liberty where you can see a little bit of it, a little bit of points here, but this is not doubled. Otherwise, everything here would have that same effect as this over here if this was a true double die. So I'm still learning myself. I've, I've, I've had other videos I'm going to have to uh, take down or change, but uh, they are, this is, I'm, a, I'm learning. I'm learning like you are. And uh, this is an exciting find and uh, I've had it for a while and it's in my collection. And uh, let's go on to the next coin and see what we got. Okay, now this one is on the uh, in God We Trust again. Now this was a 1994, a little bit older coin. And notice that the In God We Trust is on the other side of the coin. And I'm sorry, the other coin, I'm sorry, the last coin was a state quarter. This is a Washington quarter. I did not turn that over. Um, so this is an odd side of the coin, and this is a Washington quarter, which the In God We Trust is on the left side of the coin, and on the state quarter is on the right side of the odd side of the coin. As you can see, this has got some really great doubling as well as the other coin we looked at. It's got the insides, outside, inside, outsides, or there, it's pretty much every letter on this one. I don't see too much on this T or the W, but it's almost on every part of this um, in God We Trust. Hopefully that's a good view. I like to move them around a little bit. because Sometimes you get a better view when you get the glare or the, the light off of it. And then if you see... Here on the chin, I don't know if you can see it, it's really dark shadow, but you can see this little bit of extra chin mark. And I do believe that would be a doubling of the chin, because it is definitely not normal. It definitely does not look like that typically. And the D's on here is good. So um, the date is a little bit. Again, another rotated movement of this, as you can see it here in the four. A little bit here on the four, and you can see it on the inside of this nine, inside of this nine, and a little bit on this one here. 
So you can see that the, the, these are not flat, normal, don't have, because when there is not an error on there, it will be a nice crisp cut, a nice crisp cut, unless there's, you know, bag error, bag damage, whatever you want to call it. But otherwise, it should be really, really clean. And uh, if it doesn't, and it's not, then it's probably an error, some, side, some sort of an error. So that's a good one to look at. So we'll move on to the next one. And this one again is a 1994. So it's the same year, same mint. And it's kind of funny because to find two coins in the same mint, same year, probably means they were printed around the exact same time. Okay, and you see what I'm talking about. In this 1994, do you see any of the doubling on that one? Not as much, do you? Because it's clean no no inside no outside no inside of this no inside of that so you can see the difference right there's a good example of a 1994 clean sample but let's move over here and look at some of that now do you see anything on that just a little bit just a little bit on the sides here but that's definitely doubling um, not much to say but it's harder to see it on this one because because it is, okay, let me try and zoom in a little bit. Oh, I can't zoom in, sorry, because I'm in this mode. Um, but uh, it is a uh, pretty good error. And here on the lips, again, you can see it. So the same kind of similar things were going on in these, these errors here. You can't really see it in that video. That's really horrible. It's hard to catch the angle right for you guys to see that, that error on the lip. But you can see that extra, see right there, can you see that extra little silver spot? Now that is not right. That should not be there. It's got a big shadow on it. So, really good one. Good example. And then we've got this one here. And it's a 1992D. And uh, again, it's on the God We Trust. It's a little bit of doubling and this is why I'm showing these little examples is because sometimes they're really apparent sometimes they're not sometimes you actually have to really look at the coin to really get the full you know value of what you're looking at because if you're not looking at them you're not going to catch these little ones and they're still an error coin you know I'm not going to keep this this is not something I'm going to put into my collection but it's a good example of what to look for and to see that you can see them on these little and they don't have to be everywhere either. They can be just here in little spots like that and, uh, you know, and still be an error coin. So those are good examples of what to look for. And then over here on this mint mark, you can see, again, let's get that in a good angle. There we go. You can see the doubling inside of that D and the outside here. So this is definitely double deed. And this is a cool one. Because I like finding those. Those are a little different. I don't find them as clean as that one is because you can really see the difference in that coin. So that one's a good example of a double double die or double doubling of a mint mark. You know, you always check out the ears for errors because there's always sometimes sometimes there. The nose is another ridge, is another area you can look for. And on the eyeballs here, like his eyebrow area. You can see some errors. So always look in those spots. And Liberty, of course, always look at your Liberty. All right, let's move on to another one. I've got this uh, 1980. It's a little bit more current. And this is on the reverse side. And uh, this is a great one because this one has it on uh, the United States of America. Like, you can see it everywhere. This is a really good one. So you can see it here on the U. You can see it on the N, you can see it on the I, you can see it on the T, the E, the D, two sides on that D. The S is almost going off in grease mark there and the states. But look at this. I mean, it keeps going and going. This one's the coin that keeps giving. So you got this one and this one and that. You've got it all over this. So this kind of fades away up here. The S has got, you know, a little bit of damage to them. But this is a good example of an inside error on that one. And then America, look at that. I mean, you can see it. It's as plain as day. You can't miss that stuff. Here, let me get a better lighting on there. There you go. A little bit better. See the M, the R, 
you know not every letter on here is and then this this a is almost filled it's not quite filled but it's almost filled and i've seen them fill completely so and there's some of that c there so that's a really good example of uh of usa united states of america and what a united states uh, we have today it's a whole different planet but yesterday history was made our first woman uh, in a powerful position which is really really great for us women and uh, and then she's a, a black and black asian which is like huge for for everyone i mean people just need to you know start coming together again i can hope for that right Anyways, back to the coin. So I'm seeing some doubling here on this R. A little bit on that R, you can see it. And uh, definitely on the dollar. You can see it on the D completely. That's plain as day. And that O, the L, the outside of that O, the L again. You know, this is what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. And uh, I can show you the obverse side which is the front of the coin, the face of the coin. You see that mint mark. What mint mark, right? It's a P. was a P. I think it's a P. I would assume it's a P. But that's a filled in mint mark. So that's a good one to see. And that one, and I'm going to keep a hold of this one. This has got errors everywhere. I'm surprised the 1980 doesn't have anything major on it. It does have a little crease marks to see here. And there's some kind of, you know, uh, something went through here. I don't know what they call that yet, um, but it is an interesting uh, point because you can see it right here on the one too. So it looks like something kind of mispunched here, and uh, it's kind of interesting. But I don't know what to call that. But uh, in God we trust. There's really nothing there. Um, just like I said, just a little bit on that on that S, but I wouldn't even really, and maybe a little bit on that O there, the N. But I wouldn't really go to say that that one has been doubled on that side because it's just not that much. But that was a really good coin, needless to say. That was a keeper. And uh, so anyways, I think that will be it for this, this video. I think I might have one more. I don't have it pulled out, but I do have lots and lots of errors. I have books and books and uh, boxes and boxes of errors and uh, coins that I can share for you, with you. Um, you know, I just don't have them out and ready. This is in a, in a cover. Um, but uh, anyways, I want to thank you for coming and vi uh, viewing my uh, video. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I'm sure you uh, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about my video uh, by hitting that like button. And uh, if you are interested in seeing more of my posts, then you can subscribe. And in which turn you will get videos updated as often as weekly and possibly doubly, doubling up in the week. Um, I will do as much as I can. And I really, uh, really want to help you uh, learn about coins like I'm learning. So you guys hit, hit that, like, uh, that bell button if you want to uh, get notifications of the new videos that I post. If not, it's all good, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my video. And this is Linda with Copperhead Collectibles. You guys have a good day. Bye.